Hello coders, this is PSK. Welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to run a Spring Boot application, how to create a Spring Boot a Docker image and run it on your local. So let's get started. I've created a blog that you are going to follow. All the steps are in this blog on how to set up your, your Docker on your local computer. For this tutorial, I'm for I'm create I'm installing on Mac OS, and then we can create a Docker file. After creating a Docker file, we can build our image, and we can run it locally. So these are the key topics that we are going to cover. So to create a Docker on your local machine, to clone existing Spring Boot project, I currently have the Spring Boot project that we are going to use. A step by step to create a Docker file. In the essential Docker file commands that you need to know when you are running a Spring Boot application or Java project. So let's go into the description. The tutorial you will learn how to create a Docker file in running Spring Boot project in Docker. Docker is a technology that allows you to package and run software application along with all their dependencies in a consistent and isolated environment called a container. Imagine a container is a standalone lightweight and portable package that contains everything needed to run application including the code runtime libraries and system tools it's like having a mini virtual machine but much more efficient and faster Docker makes it easy to, to create deploy and manage applications as containers can run on any system that supports docker whether it's a local development machine, a cloud server, or even your colleague's computer. This eliminates the common issue of it works on my machine because Docker ensures consistency across different environments. So let's install Docker and we have this link that I that is in here. So if you have if you do not have Docker on your local computer, please click the, that link and download the desktop. So if you are on Mac, you can go to Mac, Windows, or Linux. For on Mac, you just go to the Mac and you choose your chip. If you are using an internal chip or a silicon, which is like the M1, M2, you can download this. So after downloading the the Docker, the Docker file, you have to install it the normal way that you do when installing an application. So for, for me, I have the Docker installed on my local computer. So let's continue. So you can go to your applications and you can search for Docker. After you install it. So once you have Docker on your computer, you can go to your terminal. And let's try to run some basic Docker commands after installation. You can say Docker images. As you can see, this this command will list all the images that we currently have. So far, we don't have any images. So my Docker is working correctly and Docker commands are working fine. So let's continue with our blog. So you have to clone this project. So if you have git installed, you just copy the the URL, uh, this command. And let me open also my terminal and I can say cd documents. So in my documents, I will just say git. Uh, I just paste the command. Yes. So uh, I managed to clone the project. So you can open the project with your favorite IDE. So for me, I open the project with IntelliJ. You can use VS Code. VS Code is free. I think I have VS Code. So you can use VS Code. Uh, this is the project. 
and this is the Java project. So if you use VS Code, let's create a new file from our blog. We have to create a new file called Docker file. So we can create a new file called Docker file. No, I created in the wrong path. It's supposed to be in a root. Like in here. Let's move it to a it's supposed to be in a in a root for, in a root directory. Yeah, like this is supposed to be with a, in a root directory. So once you create a Docker file. Uh, we need to copy the we need to copy this uh, these commands so let's copy this command so these commands are responsible for building our docker images so let's copy and paste it here okay so it's it's going to is label but i don't know the the com the, the correct so let's leave it like this for now and we can update it later it's just a uh, it's deprecated so after we are done we, after copying this let's uh, let's go to the let's go to our blog and i walk you through the through these lines this command that we added like what is the meaning of from maven maintainer copy copy so let's go through it so the from from maven uh, open jdk 17 is maven build this line says the best image for the first image of the docker build it uses the official maven image with version 3a3 into open jdk 17 so uh, if you look if you go to docker Hub, let's go to docker Hub. so it will put this from docker Hub. And you can search that Marvin. Okay, so you can see here we have the list of the Marvin dependent to the Marvin that we carry that we have, and I'm using this version 3A3. So it's pulling this uh, image, this version from this Marvin from this map from docker repository so after doing this the maintainer is me who is maintaining this this file this provides contact information of the maintainer or creator of the docker image so the maintainer instruction is deprecated and it's, recomm and it's recommended to use label instead then the copy the copy command we want to copy this pom xml into the build folder so so you want to copy this we have to copy the the pom file and the source file these are mandatory in java so you must know which uh, framework are uh, you using like programming language for you to be able to run a java project for a java project we need the pom file and the source file so in our docker file we have to copy the pom file and the source file so we are copying this pom file into the build directory which is this one so it will be like in a co in a container we create a build directory and we are copying the pom xml and then we copy the source folder which is this one also into the build directory like this same structure that we are maintaining here we are maintaining it also in the build directory and we we use work directory to say this build directory uh, is our work directory so with this so with work directory this command sets a working directory to build so all subsequent commands in the first build stage will be executed relatively to this directory then after doing that we run maven clean package so this commands Run the Maven clean package command inside the container. It tells Maven to clean the project and build the application 
the resulting application artifact, usually a JAR file, will be created in the build target directory. So, after running the, we run the Muffin Clean package. So in Java, we have we have to, like this same. It's the same process that you do when you are doing manual. Like you want to do Muffin Clean and package so that you create a jar, and that jar is the one that uh, we use. That is all the dependence of your project, like classes, everything, your YAML files. Then you can run your project. So. This is the way we do it in, in Docker. And here we are now pulling the OpenJDK 17 from, from Docker Hub, like what we did on the first line, right? So let's continue. This is base image for the second stage of the Docker build. It uses official OpenJDK 17. Then we have the argument, jar file, it's like a, the way of declaring, declaring a variable in programming language this line defines an argument named jar file with the value build target jar it allows you to pass path to the application jar file when building the docker image so in this stage we are setting the web directory now to to up so as you can see here we are now setting now the working directory from this second stage from here it's now a second stage and we are setting the web directory to what? To app. So now we want to, we are using muffin build here. We want to copy the jar file. So once we run the muffin clean package, we, we created a jar file and the jar will be in build target and the name of the jar that we're going to be generated like any name. So we don't care. We need something that ends with the jar and copy it into the app which is our work directory app app jar so then we have the entry point where the application is going to start so you have to know to know that this line says the default command that will be executed when docker container starts it specifies run the java application using the java minus jar app command so after we are done with this we just copy this command so this is the command that we use to to build to build a to build a docker image so we just copy it and we come to our intellij into our vs code and let's go to the terminal yeah so in our terminal we just run this command which is docker this one As, yeah, let's see why this thing failed. Okay, we have to save this file. So with the with this one, we have to save the file after I do some changes and really run the application again. So right now, it's now running the Marvin build clean package of this project so it's now on this command yeah now it's done you can see everything went successful all the stages were completed and the jar uh, was copied so after doing this we can say right on our docker we just said docker images as you can see right now we have this one which is the code with b spring boot integrations so as you can see here uh, so we want to run our application let's try to run our application and I think it's running on the port 1995. So let's try to run it. Just copy the this command and go back to the here and then paste. Yeah, so right now the application is now running. So we can say Docker.
I think stock up container. So you can say docker container LS. Yeah, you can see uh, this is the the container that you currently have. So the application is running on this container ID. So you can say docker if you want to get logs, docker logs minus F and the container ID. So this this these are the commands that you can use so the application is running so let's click the the this url and see as you can see our application is running on the docker container and everything is working fine so let me go back to our to our blog and let me explain to you what's really happening so with the docker run these commands we use it to run the docker container from a specified image then minus d we use it um we want to run our application in the background so if you specify minus d our application will run in the in the background so if you don't specify minus d you can see the application running in what in in your terminal with the logs uh, without typing the docker logs minus f so you can see it running so if you close the terminal the application will stop running so most of the time like on your server you must specify minus t and minus p 90, 1995 full color 1995 this option maps the container port to the host machine port in case it maps 99 1995 from the container to port 1995 on the host machine this allows you to access application running inside the container on local host 1995 so as you can see we map this 1995 port with the application run on a certain port and each application must run on different ports so they don't have to conflict so we have restart always this option specify restart policy of the for the container the value always means that docker will automatically restart the container if it exits for any reason except when it's explicitly stopped by the user so maybe you restart the server so maybe the something happened maybe the server restarts so you need to specify to to tell the, your service that uh, i want this thing to restart may even when the application starts like when the step server what when the server restarts unless you you stopped it manually so we have this a uh, code with beast which is this com this is the this is the image this is the name of the docker image that you want to run it indicates the image named code with beast integration available in the docker app repository under the user or organization code with beast like as you can see here this is the muffin one so for a muffin they this is the tag that they use but on our application we are using a code with bisc so let me do this like when i say docker images you to list all the images as you can see this is the docker image that we built so the tag is latest and the image id and the time it was created so this is the image that you run so if you want to pull it once you published it on on docker app you must put this one it must be unique for each for for each so this one will be our user id so it will always be unique so so that no one can have this same and with our image so thank you guys for watching this video i hope now you understand uh, how to create a docker image and how to run it on your local machine and you learned a lot like um, how to list docker images how to see your docker containers by using docker a uh, container ls by running out your docker your docker your docker images using the docker run command and to run it in background and also to allow your your your, your application to run if in the safer restart using the restart commands so if you are new to this channel, may kindly subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever you upload a new video. Salut Kodas!